the solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for June the 10th through June the 16th. And on Sunday the 16th, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. A, a particular mention to my son, Aidan, what a lovely dad you are. I'm so proud of you. And um, listen, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, who commented, liked, shared, and, and I want to thank all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you will return. Um, and if you're returning, I really appreciate your love and support of this channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And um, these are general readings, like I said. Uh, please take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't assume that everything I say here is applicable to you. If you would like a personal reading and a more in-depth reading, the link to my website is below and you can check that out and see all the readings and the services that I offer. Um, these another way that you can support my channel fyi is through patreon and you can do that for as little as a dollar a month um that's not a lot to you. it's 12 dollars a year it's not a lot to you but it's huge to me i could do a lot with a dollar or just a one-off donation um that would be really helpful too anyway check out the patreon page i i post things there that i don't post uh anywhere else um and I, sometimes i post things there first and then release it elsewhere Anyway, I also have a Facebook group, guys, and it's a private Facebook book, uh, group, and I do live feeds there every two weeks. I do horoscopes for people that attend the live, uh, the live feed, and I also have my cards on hand for any questions. Um, now, these readings are in three sections. There is the intro, which is this. There is the... Uh, uh, astrology report for the week and then the tarot card reading. So if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising, all the links will be below. You, there will also be timestamps of where you can skip the intro and astrology if you're checking out uh, the readings, multiple readings. So without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading. Now, on Monday, June the 10th, at 11.28 a.m., the sun is in a very challenging um, aspect to Jupiter. Now, this aspect may have you overly optimistic and, and you may have some errors in judgment. You could be extravagant with money and you could expand your waistline also. It's kind of a, it's just an energy that can overdo things. Now take care not to have unrealistic expe expectations from those around you, colleagues, employees, employers, friends, family members. Um, and your ego may want to come out and play. If not you, those around you could uh, exhibit arrogance or egocentric behaviors. Um, have a forgiving heart for yourself and for others. Um, now on Wednesday, June the 12th, at, um, from 11.15 to 3, 11.15 a.m. to 3.16 p.m., um, the moon is what we say in astrology, void of course. That means it's kind of stuck between two signs. It's not moving. It's kind of floating there. Um, and that means it's kind of like Mercury in retrograde. Um, I would avoid purchasing anything, particularly large items. You could get buyer's remorse. Um, now, also, don't sign any contracts because things could be missed during this time. Now, on Wednesday, uh, on Friday, the 14th, at 2.12, 2.12 uh, a.m., Mars is in a beautiful uh, relationship to Neptune. Now, this aspect enhances your intuition and psychic abilities. So trust your gut feeling. And there's a nice balance between creativity and practicality. It's like... You'll have magnetism and charisma attracting people to you. And Mars will give you the energy um, to carry out a creative project to completion. Um, you know, just in time for the upcoming full moon in Sagittarius on uh, Monday the 17th. So uh, take 
I would just say take care not to be too self-sacrificing during this time. Also, uh, a little bit later on in the morning, 11.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars is kind of in a seesaw relationship with Saturn. So Mars is the soldier, right? And Saturn, the grumpy old man. Um, there may be a tendency to be a little cruel, impatient, um, and perhaps manipulating. Um, it's an energy where you find yourself or others uh, lashing out in cruel and not very nice ways. And your self-esteem could fluctuate on this day. So there's definitely a mix of uh, energies there on Friday. Now on Sand Sunday, the 16th, uh, Mercury is in a beautiful relationship to Neptune. Um, it's kind of doing what Mars has done, but now it's Neptune, right? Is moving into those kind of same energies. It's 4.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A wonderful imaginative mind with the ability to smoothly communicate and uh, brilliant concepts which could inspire you and others. Um, it kind of gives you this uh, a visionary outlook, if you will. And it's like you'll become this engaging storyteller. So you will grab people's attention. Um, this aspect will benefit you immensely if you are a writer, a creative writer, a journalist, or if you're in the visual arts. Um, now, the same day, Mercury, a bit later on at 7 a.m., a few hours later, is in that opposition, uh, you know, that challenging kind of seesaw relationship with Saturn. So the thing with this is your mind will be extremely sharp, right? Um, and, and it's almost like you could handle a very difficult subject. Your concentration powers will be very strong. With Mercury opposing Saturn, you've got that, uh, what's the word? Uh, you know, Saturn's like the teacher, the strict teacher, and, and he, he's structure and form. And Mercury's the mind that can wander, right? But he will keep it in kind of check. So... Um, you know, you can tackle a very difficult subject, subject that you couldn't get your head around before, you may be able to do that now. So, you know, use that energy. And then um, at 8.18, just a little bit over an hour later, uh, Jupiter moves into a challenging um, relationship to Neptune. It, it kind of gives you uh, the urge to help others. And it's like, you know, you'll have this wonderful kindness and compassion and altruism Altruism could take center stage. You just have to be careful not to kind of lose yourself in it and, you know, help people at the expense of yourself. So uh, it's kind of, uh, it's almost like unrealistic um, expectations of yourself, if you will. Um, so don't self-sacrifice. Be aware of that. Okay, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading or your tarot card section of your reading for June the 10th through June the 16th. I've already shuffled this, but one more time for you. This is for Libra. For Libra. June the 10th through June the 16th. What wonderful guidance, blessings and helpful information. Can you give Libra for this coming week? Okay. Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. What wonderful gifts, guidance and blessings. Is that three? Yes, three cards came out. It's brilliant. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, lovely cards, Libra. Lovely. These are clarifying cards for Libra. Clarifying cards for Libra. Okay. Oh, 
this one. Please clarify. Okay, Libra, here are your re uh, your cards, your readings. The first card out for you is the Ten of Swords. The next card clarifying the Ten of Swords is the Five of Pentacles. Then you have the Ten of Cups. Clarifying the Ten of Cups is the High Priestess. And you have the Three of Pentacles. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles is the Strength card and then the Ace of Pentacles. So, Libra, Libra, the first card out for you is the Ten of Swords. Look, Tens are endings and they're also beginnings, right? Ten, one and zero equals one. I almost said zero. <laughs> equals one, so that's a new beginning. So tens are the ending. So when you've got the 10 of swords, when that comes in, saying that I know that you've been in a difficult situation recently, Libra, some of you obviously, um, but that's coming to an end. And I feel that you have been deprived or feeling deprived or you haven't had a job or something has not come in for you. You've been, you've had a very difficult time um, probably manifesting wealth and, and living in abundance. You've had, you know, and there's been perhaps pain, pain and betrayal, um, you know, caused you to uh, have this deprivation in the past. You may have lost a job and you felt betrayed by your boss or a colleague or something. Um, I don't know the exact circumstances, that's not coming to me, that doesn't really come to me in a general reading, but definitely this time of deprivation is over. It's coming to an end. The hard times, this, this you know, represents hard times, difficult times, you know, trying to, you know, make ends meet and really struggling, and the struggle is over. When the Ten of Swords comes in, it's like, it's, you know, you're letting it go. You're moving on. Things are changing for you in a major, major way. And you are ready to let go of these Ten of Swords, you know. Um, it's definitely uh, time to move on. And the next card out is the Ten of Cups. This is like, wow. All your needs are being met. This is emotionally fulfilled. This is happy, happy families. This is just happy and content. And what's really interesting, clarifying this wonderful happy card, because those hard times are done, they're over, you have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess comes in. She's giving you the gift of sight. Um, and intuition. She, what is being made available to you here are the keys to the Akashic Records. This is like all the knowledge and the wisdom that you need is at your fingertips. And I'm getting a very strong feeling here that uh, meditation will really help you. Um, this is going to clear the mind and you will hear the messages forth. I feel that your abundance is uh, contingent upon hearing these messages um, and your happiness is definitely contingent upon it. Now the High Priestess is sitting, she, she's also sometimes known as the Old Crone, she's sitting between two columns, right? Um, you know, light and darkness, good and evil, it's that kind of um, two energies. She's between the two worlds. She's got one foot in that world and one foot in the other world. And look, make no mistake about it, we need the shadow. Look, we wouldn't know there was light unless there was darkness, right? 
How could we know light unless there was darkness? How could we know darkness unless there was light? We wouldn't know them. There's, there's a place for our shadow sides. It's important that, you know, that we embrace both sides and not be in fear of anything dark or shadowy. You know, we're all made up of that. Um, so this is about really uh, tapping into this energy and to the High Priestess because she is going to give you a wealth of information. Um, and that's very apropos of what's happening astrologically. Now you have the Three of Wands. This is like, darling, make long-term optimistic plans. Things are, your ship is coming in. And you need to acknowledge that your ship is coming in and you need to make those long-term plans. Look, when we know our ship is docking with all these world, worldly goods, right? If you had the lotto ticket and you knew you were getting paid next week, it's like you would make long-term optimistic plans, right? You know, and that's what you're being asked to do. And I'm not talking weeks, months, I'm talking years. See a clear vision of where you want to go. Make that path visible for you in writing and you have two cards clarifying the three of uh, ones and three of ones is expansion right it's you know growth you have the strength card so you the, the strength card is all about it's about self-discipline right it's about um your strength is in kindness and compassion. It's not about lashing out. And, you know, we have an aspect that's happening this week. I've, you know, look at the uh, astrological uh, thing where we could have the tendency to be egocentric and to lash out, maybe be cruel. Um, so this is saying really hold that in, you know, um, be aware of that energy and discipline yourself not to react in a certain way and and so that you can really enjoy the moment your strength will be in kindness and compassion and look this is a wonderful opportunity you have this um incredible gift of the ace of pentacles this is new beginnings this is you seeing the um the you know it's like it's like the crocuses coming through the ground, you know, the tulips or the daffodils in, in the spring. You're seeing that wonderful growth of all the effort that you've put into things and it's coming to fruition. You are getting paid. Things are really working out. Abundance is coming to you. This is a wonderful reading, Libra. I'm so happy for you. Please don't forget to like this video and share it with friends, family, and social media. Please comment. I always answer every comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all, and I'll see you next week.